Hey YouTube, is Electric Adventures here with a local pickup video. <clears throat> so yes, I do occasionally get to buy some stuff locally. And um, uh, this particular stuff was actually from my local cash converters. Um, so it's in very good condition, it's just a couple of things. Now, this one was a Nintendo 64 cartridge that I thought I had the box for. It was one I, um, I had stolen out of my lot of ones, uh, but now I can't find the box, but anyway, I now have it loose. Um, <clears throat> it severely needs some cleaning up. I've already removed some stickers, but I have more to go. So it is Star Wars Rogue Squadron. As you can see, the carts are dirty. It has this uh, sticker on this side, which is really stuck on bad. Righty on the top. I suppose the end of the day is not bad. And there's a, there's a sticker on the back that I'm slowly removing try not to damage the um, Nintendo sticker underneath <coughs> and yes I have a cold so I haven't been online for a few days here um, I also had a box NES game which is extremely unusual down here um, now it's a very Australian release it's Aussie Rules Footy and um, I should be very interested to see um, what this is like the box is not perfect but there's nothing wrong it doesn't have any crush damage it's just a little worn <coughs> um, and we have the um, so we've got the, the slip case uh, the manual a little bit of um, folds on there and the cartridge and cartridge label is in um, really good condition so actually um, I'm very happy with that find. Sorry, dropped the box. And I said sorry, I'm <coughs> still under the weather. I've been sick for about four days. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, um, we'll see if we can do a gameplay of that one and see how we go. Um, now, an another item, and it's something I've been after for a while because I find it, I mean, uh, I do have a couple of Game Boy Advance games um, and um, I mean I've got a Game Boy Advance but once again it's not backlit um, and I found on the bottom shelf and yes I know it's pink but um, it wasn't very expensive was a Game Boy Micro um, and I've got a game in there Metal Gear Slug Metal Gear Slug Metal Slug <laughs> okay brain's still not working so I'll fire it up there Sorry, I probably should have shut the curtains behind, but as you can see, it is very bright. There are a couple of little marks on the screen. I didn't pay very much for it, but it works fine. And another great thing about these things is um, that um, sorry is um, they've got a rechargeable battery in them. As long as my camera will focus, you can see how good the screen is on them. So it's actually a very impressive little thing, and it's so small, it's um great to you know carry around in the pocket or in the car when I'm waiting for somebody. <coughs> um, and the other pickup, which I picked up last night and joined in all the fun of trying to start to play it, is the first PC game that I have bought in a very long time, and that's Diablo 3 just the regular edition um, I had a pre-order for this I couldn't really afford to get the um, deluxe edition although I was severely tempted um, so for those people who won't, won't have seen the normal edition it's got a nice fold out thing here um, <clears throat> I'm not going to really show the contents because it's got all my codes and everything on it um, but I um, I got the game, the servers were supposed to come on, uh, online at 5pm in Australia. Um, they were there but I couldn't get on for quite a period of time um, as a lot of other people were having that problem. When I finally did manage to, um, to get on it was, um, I had to, to go and have my tea and then I had another like, another 15 minute thing where I, I did consistently get on after, after that initial period of probably it was about two and a half hours of not being able to get on. Um, so I had my tea, um, had another 15 minutes or so, and then had to go and pick up the kids from dancing. 
and going, oh, I probably won't work when I get back. And when I got back, I actually managed to probably have two and a half hours solid play. And uh, the um, Black Skeleton King has been vanquished. So, and I had a lot of fun. So it is a good game. But, um, damn them with their servers. I'm sure a lot of people had a lot of problems in reading the forums. All the problems people had. All right. I'll try and put some gameplay together now. Um, it's probably going to be a bit slapdash because I'm still not feeling very well. Alright, I'll catch you later. Here we go with Aussie Rules Football. Um, Sports games, you really need to know the controls. Oop. Uh, oh, no, I'm getting confused about who's got the ball. And they keep the goal again. <laughs> so, for those that don't know, football, um, obviously, two opposing sides. Can be um, so they have the ruck in the middle. Uh, I'll keep another go. <coughs> Not normally this easy, but I don't know how to control the players. Um, so you have the ruck in the middle. Um, then you you you. Um, okay, I've actually got the ball. Kick it up here. And I didn't kick to one of my players. Um, so we've got a ball up, and there's contention. I'm still not sure how I tackle or anything like that, so that's a mark. And it's another mark. And he'll probably kick a goal there. No, no, he only got a point. If you shoot it through the middle two um, poles, you get six points. If you shoot it through... Um, oh, he got it off me again. And keep another point. I really need to read up the controls. I won't humiliate myself any further. Um, yes, yeah, so if you kick it through the middle, you get six points. If you kick it through the outer ones, you get a point. Um, you can handball as well. Um, so you're not allowed, not allowed to throw the ball, though. Um, you must handball it, which is uh, motion like that. And you have four quarters. Um, and it's whoever gets the highest score. So it actually looks like quite, especially for the NES, actually quite a well rendered sports game. And I've heard that about this, that it is supposed to be, you know, quite well, um, you know, quite well written and a very good representation of Australian rules football. So, alright, we'll leave it at that before my sick rambling gets a bit too much.
here we go with Star Wars Rogue Squadron. One of my absolute favourite games for the Nintendo 64. Um, you now I've bought the second hand, so. Take an early one over Moss Isley with Wedge and Zillies, but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. It was just such a well put together game. We'll just go for the um, thing. So as you can see, the only one we can select at the moment is the X-Wing. But later on, you can <coughs> come back and replay levels <coughs> as you unlock other craft. And you select your craft on the, on the deck of the hangar. This did such a good job with the graphics for the time. <coughs> Wouldn't go to say they got the music perfect, but um... there's a bit of an intro here. I'll um, skip that because it'll make the video too long. <coughs> and spoil the enjoyment for those that... Good morning, Wedge. The rest of Rogue Squadron is still back at base, but I thought we could take an early morning run through Beggar's Canyon. So this is sort of like your training. Figuring out how to control the craft. And as they did so well with a lot of these games. <coughs> Luke, I think we've got a problem. Is that my fascination for all those? Imperial probe droids, dead ahead. They're attacking the old guys. Okay, so use the We got a scanner. Up on the top right and it's just um it works so well. Stretch the abilities too much. So 
Okay. And now we've got a bit of a mission at a base here, so it's actually, you know, it's quite easy to get into. And, um, you know, a, a good fun, fun game. Highly recommended. And, the, you know, she keeps on compelling you to go a bit further with the missions. And, um, that one and I'm absolutely stoked of having that back in my collection. Didn't do very well, I only got a gold medallion. Um, the faster you do things and there's bonus things you can pick up on each of the missions. So there you go, it wasn't very accurate. Friendly saves and you do a couple more of those and I was a bit slow. Alright, thank you very much.